word funda and we are going to see today question okay so let's read this today question so today question we are uh, we are getting that 918 and that is maximum sum circular survey in which we are getting uh, the statement like uh, saying given a circular integer array sum of length n and we have to return the maximum possible sum okay uh, so it is saying that is so this statement is saying how, what is the circular circular uh, array and uh, the properties right so let's see the example i'll explain here so let's suppose we have given one minus two three and minus two we have given right so this is our array okay so circular means uh, if you start uh, you here so you can come back this position right if you uh, want to go right so this if this is your start so your end will come here okay if you start here you can move like this one right like that so this is our circular sub array so if you'll talk about uh, the maximum sum we have to return like so you can see here how the maximum sum we can get from here so maximum sum if we we'll calculate this one so it is coming three so how will how will uh, coming here uh, the sum uh, let's see i will do some uh, operation here okay so let's uh, uh, see the example first that we have given here that is minus one uh, sorry one minus two three and minus two so we'll take uh, some variables and uh, do initialization right so we'll take current max current mean and maximum max mean so four variables we have taken and we have initialized with the num of zero that is one now uh, we'll uh, loop here let's suppose we have i and we are starting from i equal to 1 then 2 3 will start right so we have starting with i 0 sorry then we 1 then 2 and then 3 so we'll move to these four steps right so i we have already traversed right so we'll uh, go to here okay so i have already in this slice with these four four variables right i equal to 0 so we'll start from i equal to 1 Let, let's suppose we have to uh, find current max right so current max is what we have already uh, current max that is uh, now of 0 i equal to 0 we have find out and that is nothing but 1 right so we have taken here 1 now if we we'll take out uh, num at 1 and now num at 1 so we will pass minus 2 right because we will see here minus 2 we have here so we have now what, what if we we'll, uh, do the plus then it will come what uh, minus 1 and minus 2 so the max is minus 1 that's why we are getting here minus 1 now we'll do max sum similarly so we'll pass max sum and current max sum which one is max that will come here so 1 and minus 1 that is one is the maximum similarly current minimum is current minimum plus uh, num at 1 and num at 1 will pass so 1 we have plus uh, minus 2 we have if we'll do that this will come minus 1 so minus 1 comma minus 1 which one is uh, mean so minus 1 is the mean right we don't have the same value we have the same value and so if we'll do mean sum so we'll pass current mean and mean mean sum mean sum is uh, you can say mean so far okay and uh, mean so far we have uh, come to this position let's say from here to here which one is mean the minus 2 is the mean okay like that so if we'll talk about uh, here to here right so we have what 1 minus 2 and uh, 2 uh, i equal to 2 i equal to 1 right i equal to 1 we are here so if we'll calculate which is uh, what is minimum till now we have so if we'll do plus these two variables what we'll get here minus 1 we get and that's why we are getting here minus 1 similarly if we'll if you want to do plus right so if we'll do plus means like this like this okay so what is the uh, uh, maximum so far right okay so what what we'll get here uh, 1 plus minus 2 right and that uh, sorry 1 and minus 2 right that will come but we have to find current max what is our current max first we have to find the current max and that's why we are getting what uh, current max is 1 and then we are calculating with the current value that is minus 2 and which one is the max that will calculate it and that's why we are getting current max is minus 1 correct and so now we what we have current max is uh, minus 1 we have and max on previously what we have 1 so which one is max so we will consider this part okay and that's what we're getting similarly you will get the current you can find the current mean and current max now if you'll come here so now current max we have what uh, minus one so if you'll go to i equal to uh, two means this three so we'll add three so one minus one and three and three which one is max means three is max right so that's why we're getting three now uh, we have to find max till here right till here so previously what max uh, max value we have this is our max value right one you, you can see the uh, 
array also right so we have uh, one here and we are getting now we have three so in one and three if you take one and three which one is max right so we will pass this value which one is max we'll get three is the maximum value now we will point this maximum to here not here previously we are pointing here now max is what here right now we will find the current mean what is the current mean so we will have to do plus right so we'll do uh, minus one previously we have minus one now we have three so we will add these three so three or minus one is what two we have and uh, current is what three so which one is minimum so two is the minimum right so we will say uh, we have to update two now if we'll talk about the minimum right so current minimum is what current minimum we have uh, two right and uh, you can see here and uh, uh, minimum sum till now what we have that is uh, minus one right so we'll pass minus one which one is minimum so we'll say this is minimum right now go to i equal to three we are now here current max is what currently we have three now oh, now at uh, number three what we have minus two so we'll do this one so we'll get what one and comma minus two which one is a uh, max so one is the max so we are, we have to update one similarly max till now what we have to do uh, you, you can see here right so max till now what we have three only so we three only what we we are we are our point is till now here so we'll pass th previous value three and current value what we have got here current max that is one right so we will pass here so what we'll get here we'll get three here right so till this array maximum sum what we have three we have correct and similarly, we'll find the current mean and current uh, minimum, sorry, mean sum till now. So we'll get, uh, we are able to update this value and we'll get minus two and minus two here. Okay. Now coming, now, uh, sorry, now we are here. Okay. Sum. So how we'll calculate from here to here. What is the sum? Sum is zero, right? We all, we calculate all the uh, value. So sum will get zero. So how we'll calculate the output? Let's see maximum we have what uh, we have calculated three correct and we have to do total sum right this is total sum minus mean sum what is the minimum sum we have get till here this end right so minimum set uh, minimum we have got what minus two and total sum what have the array zero actually we are doing kadans algorithm right kadans algorithm and this and this is the way we, we used to do so we'll pass three uh, here and two here so what we'll get here Three we will get right the maximum value we are three here and that's why that's why we are getting the maximum circular sub array sum is three okay so if we'll talk about the implementation part how we'll do the implementation right so first of all we will uh, we will check we will make a base case this is our base case in which we will see if length is equal to one we do not need to do anything we will return directly here num nums at zero right and when we are coming here uh, so when then the whole array sum that we are calculating right this will calculate right so some will get our sum value here some will uh, have initial value zero and we'll do each element will do the sum plus plus and it will come some will get updated now as i told you we will get four, we will add, update our four variables right current max mean max max sum and mix sum so max sum is nothing what uh, we have the sum till now we we'll at the array right so kadans algorithm is moving to i to length right so we we have to calculate these variables right uh, sorry current max we, we will have our current max right and current max we have to calculate how as formula we have added there so math dot max will pass current max is we are pointing to zero index like and then we will uh, we have added number of i and this one which one is the ma current max that will come to current max and we will pass current max value uh, max maximum till now and uh, current max which one is max will come that will update our uh, maximum so we will get each time our maximum will get updated so actually this is the way uh, to find the maximum sub sub array uh, through the kadans algorithm right if you know you can google kadans algorithm okay so kadans algorithm we used to find maximum sub array and minimum sub array and similarly we used to do that right so in the when we do to maximum sub uh, we have to find the maximum sub array we'll we will pass the current maximum and uh, maximum till now right in the array and that position so which one is max that will get updated here similarly we have to calculate the mean sum so we have to before that we have to find the current minimum and for the current minimum we have to do current minimum plus now of current position plus that position which one is minimum that will have the current minimum and similarly we'll get mean mean sum and uh, mean sum till now you can say 
the current position we have till now which one is the max minimum that will come and the current minimum will call which one is minimum that will update the minimum and finally we'll make a check in which as i told you we have to update uh, we'll check if minimum sum equal to sum right total sum we have and minimum, minimum sum have if both are same right minimum sum and total sum both are same means maximum sum we have to return here okay and if not that case it means we have to find what uh, what is the maximum sum we have and uh, we'll do minus with the total sum so total sum uh, maximum we have got three and uh, total sum we got zero and mean sum what we have got uh, some value we get right so what was the value uh, two minus two was there last value right um, mean sum was there so if we'll do this what, what will it max it will come so three will come max right so in this way we can implement let me summarize again uh, give me one minute okay yeah so what we have did here you know that we this is our base case right and another another uh, we are doing here sum so we'll get the sum here we are calculating sum here and this is just a base case okay now we have taken four variables and after the four variables we are using cadence algorithm right to find the max sum max sum here and mean sum here so maximum we will get through what uh, maximum maximum sum till the position and the uh, the current max which one which one is the data right that will calculate the maximum here and uh, similarly we will find the minimum sum till now and current sum which one is come here that will our mean sum and you know how to uh, find the current mean current max and current mean in the current max we will when we are going to find we will have to pass the current max and that position value if we will do add and the current position value which one is minimum uh, which one is maximum that will our current max and which one is minimum that is our current mean right and after that what we will do here we will check if minimum sum is equal to sum means total sum that we have did for the array and uh, the current minimum sum till the current sum whatever the is, is equal to then we will return this one okay otherwise what we will do we will do we will uh, calculate uh, we have the calculated uh, sum here and mean sum we have that will do uh, minus and after that we will find with the max which one is max either max sum till now we have or uh, we have uh, the mean sum we will do through the total sum which one is minus right okay so and like uh, if we'll talk about this one right this one right so you see the till now we have maximum is what three is our maximum right so if we do sum here right so sum is coming zero correct and till now what is the minimum we have we have minus two is the minimum we have okay so if we'll do minus right we are getting what three we are getting okay now if we'll talk about the complexity why we are getting the time complexity one because we are getting uh, we are uh, making the for loop and we are uh, going from zero index to uh, n index right of the element and is the number of element we have right so for each uh, each index right we are going to each index at a time right and we are checking its uh, current current uh, current uh, max and mean max right and uh, we are calculating till uh, the whole uh, sum till uh, whole max till now and uh, whole mean till now right that was so that's why all variables are calculating from there only and that's why only one time they are calculating so we can say that uh, the, due to the for loop we are getting o of n uh, time complexity and we are not taking extra spaces right so that's why we are getting o of 1 as a uh, space complexity so thank you guys please hit comment like uh, this video if you like this video please subscribe this channel for the more upcoming upcoming videos thank you so much guys